Hi, uh, I'm Austin Zhang, and uh, this is for my writing to midterm essay prompt presentation. Uh, so the story I picked was Hercules. Um, I picked the 1997 Disney movie Hercules, uh, based off the original Greek uh, Hercules mythology. Um, so essentially, this uh, Disney movie, and compared to the original myth, the two of them are drastically different. Um, and I'll start by explaining how by explaining uh, the basic plot of both. So in the Disney movie, Hercules is essentially, you know, the son of Zeus and Hera, both of them which are gods. And he's essentially, as a child, he's uh, stolen from his parents, he loses some of his powers, but then he's, you know, raised up by some normal human parents, you know, uh, kind of like uh, Clark Kent, you know, Superman. Uh, and the story is uh, it's a very simple story about a young boy coming of age, you know, going on a hero's journey. And uh, he goes on to develop his powers, he gets a trainer, you know, he's, again, it's very similar to like a superhero coming of age story. Where essentially, he's just an angsty teenager, he's awkward, he's clumsy, but he's discovering his powers. And he goes on a adventure to fight bad guys, save a girl, and... Save the day. Uh, that's based the central like uh, gist of the Disney movie Hercules. Uh, however, the classic original myth of Hercules is drastically different. Uh, whereas the Disney movie Hercules is a coming of age story, very lighthearted, fun, comedic, you know, very lighthearted, uh, very happy and positive. Uh, the labors of Hercules, you know, the original myth was actually a very dark and depressing tragedy, you know. Uh, Hercules, the Disney movie, was essentially uh, a boy, a teenager, trying to prove himself, you know, to be worthy. But the original myth of Hercules was about a man, uh, the bastard son of Zeus, you know, was cursed with madness and murdered his wife and his children. And instead of trying to prove himself to be worthy, he's now repenting for his sins. And he does that by essentially working like a slave to complete the 12 labors of Hercules, 12 impossible tasks. Um, and, you know, it's a very, he's a very deeply troubled character with a complicated past, with very complicated relationships with you know, other characters. Uh, and I say that's, uh, you know, uh, two very different things between the original Hercules and the movie Hercules. Now, for what I feel like is the problem here between the two is that the Disney movie Hercules much, much oversimplifies the original myth. And that's essentially what I would personally change about uh, the two. So, essentially, the Disney movie is very very simple you know it's a simple story about a simple boy you know simple powers he goes on a simple adventure saves a girl you know defeats a simple villain who has a simple like evil plan you know and he saves the world and, and everyone's happy and all that right happily ever after sort of story uh and that completely deviates from like you know what part of what made the original you know Hercules myth so beautiful was that like it was even though this this we saw inside the Superman that he like was struggling deep inside with like this darkness you know and like he there was this psychological aspect to the story where like you know he was troubled and with guilt and he had so many complicated relationships with other characters and it was just like it was very, there's like, it touched you on a, like, a deep emotional scale. And, and I say that's the problem with the Disney movie, is that it's very simplified and it's very friendly for younger audiences, but it completely lacks any emotional depth for you to truly, you know, get yourself into it. Uh, but yeah, that's essentially what i change. You know, I'd, I, if I had to remake a movie, I would create one much more faithful to the original myth. You know, I would keep the personality in the background of the original Hercules and really try to explore him as a character and what he felt and in his emotions, you know. 
and the struggles. Uh, rather than just keeping it to a simple adventure, I would focus more on the characters, you know, and how they really felt and what they were dealing with on the inside. And uh, the, essentially, you know, something much more tragic and darker. Disney can't really do that, but uh, but um, yeah. Ultimately, though, you know, I, I still am thankful that even nowadays, you know, there are modern adaptations of uh, these really old myths, and I still think that's nice. I still appreciate that. Ultimately, um, yeah, I, I would make a few changes. Thank you.